adding four add-ins. You remember add-ins are the numbers we add together to get a sum. If we have 5 plus 8 equals 13, the 5 and the 8 are the add-ins and the 13 is the sum. We can add four add-ins by using a pencil and paper or by using a calculator. So here we've got a couple of problems. Here's the first one. Tala rode her bike every day for four days. On Monday she rode for 15 blocks. On Tuesday she rode for 23 blocks. On Wednesday she rode for 17 blocks. And on Thursday she rode for 22 blocks. How many blocks did she ride all together? So this is going to be an addition word problem because it says right here, here's a clue word, it says all together, doesn't it? That's our clue word that it's addition. And the important numbers that we need to add together are 15, 23, 17, and 22. We make sure we put them in the correct place value. We want them to be all lined up nice and pretty like that. If you want, you can make straight place values by turning a paper sideways and you use each line for a place value. That way you know you keep your columns straight, okay? So if we're going to use pencil and paper, or in this case my marker and the board, we start by adding the ones place and we look for friendly numbers, compatible numbers, and I see a couple of them right away. I see 3 and 7. 3 and 7 makes a 10. So now we know we have 10, we can add 5 to that, that gives us 15, 16, 17. We regroup the 1, we put the 7 down, now we add the tens place, don't we? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 77 blocks, that's how far she wrote all together. Okay, make sure we label it, 77 blocks, okay? Now we can do this on a calculator too. Every calculator is a little bit different. Some have a button with a C on it to clear the previous numbers. Some have a C and an A with a slash C. Some have an on slash C. If we wanted to add 28 plus 12, we have to push each thing separately. We would have to push the two then we push the 8, then we push the plus sign, then a 1, then a 2, and then the equal sign. That way we'll have a 28 plus a 12. When we hit the equal sign, the screen will show us the answer. All right? So just remember C means clear and the AC means all clear. Okay? So if we wanted to add these numbers from this word problem on a calculator, let's see how that would work. I've got a regular calculator here, and I can push the AC button to turn it on. See how the zero appeared? We're going to add 15, 23, 17, and 22. So for the 15, I hit the 1, and then the 5, and then the plus. See a plus sign appeared there? Now we're going to add the 23, so I have to hit the 2, and then the 3, and then the plus again. Then I hit the 17 as a 1 and a 7, 1, 7, plus, and then the 22 is a 2 and a 2, 2, 2, plus. That gives us 77, just like we got on the board, 77, all right? Now let's try this one. On Sunday, Bob's Bakery sold 34 cupcakes, 9 pies, 18 brownies, and 12 cakes. How many items did they sell in all? Well, we know that this is going to be an addition word problem because we see the words in all. Those are our clue words. We can circle the important numbers. We need to know how many items they sold in all. So there were 34 cupcakes. There were nine pies. There were 18 brownies and 12 cakes. So those are the numbers that we're gonna to have to add together. I've got it lined up like this, and if we had used the paper going sideways, that would have helped us to make sure that the 9 stayed in the 1's column if we needed that help. Do you see some compatible numbers right away? I do. In the 1's place, I see the 8 and the 2. 
8 and 2 is 10, isn't it? Now we can add the 9. 10 plus 9 is 19. And we have four more. We have 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We regroup the 2 up here and put the 3 down here. Now we add the tens place. 2 and 3 is 5, 6, 7. 73 items. Because it asked us how many items did they sell. So it's 73 items. And we can add this on the calculator. We still have our 77 in the calculator from when we added these, didn't we? And if I push this AC or the C button, that will clear it all out so it's a zero again. See that? Now we can push in the 3 and the 4 for 34. 3, 4, and then hit the plus sign. The 9, and then the plus sign. The 18 is a 1 and an 8. 1, 8 for 18, plus, and 1, 2 for the 12. 1, 2, plus. And that gives us 73. Just like we got on the board. See? And if I want to clear it out again, I hit the AC. And that clears it out. See? There's lots of other buttons. There's even scientific calculators that you're going to use in middle school and high school that have lots of buttons. <laughs> but you can still see the basic ones. Here's the numbers. Here's the plus sign and the minus sign. See? So it's got a lot of the same numbers as a regular plane calculator, doesn't it? It's got a lot of the same buttons, I mean. All right? So remember when you're adding several add-ins to keep your columns straight, remember that you can turn your paper sideways to help you if you want, and remember to look for compatible numbers that make a 10 right away. That'll help you. And remember to hit the C or the AC button to clear out the previous numbers if you're going to use a calculator. And if you have two-digit numbers like a 28, you have to hit the 2 and then the 8 and then the plus sign. And every number you put in, like after 28, after you hit the 2 and the 8, you have to hit plus. And after you add the, the 2 and the 3 for 23, you have to hit plus. So after every single number, you have to hit plus, okay? And then it'll give you the total, all right? We're going to move on to Chapter 9. We're going to talk about numbers that go up to a 1,000. Yeah, we're going to talk about lots of hundreds, okay? I hope I'll see you there. Bye.